Well, I'm battling the wind again today. I uh, did bring a 93 Marlin back out here, trying to uh, get that fine-tuned. Unfortunately, I'm all maxed out on the elevation, and I really don't feel like uh, filing down the front sight of a gun that's, uh, let's see, about 120 years old. So we're just gonna go with this for now, just add some Kentucky windage and a little bit of elevation when I'm, uh, when I'm shooting it. For now, um, I did bring out another rifle I haven't shot in quite a few years actually. It's a 1903 Springfield. I believe it was made in stated on here. June of nineteen thirty. Springfield Armory. Uh, I did do a little bit of reverse sporterization on here. It had a Lyman front sight and rear sight. I did this when I was about twenty five. I I'd do it different now if I could, but I just put a little piece of walnut in this area to fill in the area where the uh, rear alignment site was. I'm over <laughs> twice as old now as I was when I bought it, so, you know, the errors of our youth, and that's a pretty minor one on my part, all the other. <sighs> as far as mistakes go you make in life, that wasn't so bad. Anyway, Got some 30 odd six reloads. I'm um, using 31 30 powder or 30 31. You'll know what I mean. Um, 150 grain bullet. Uh, I think there were Hornady bullets. I don't remember the amount of grains of powder I put in here, but I believe it was the minimum for, uh, for the Lee loader. Dies. So, I don't have stripper clips for this, unfortunately. I should have picked some up a long time ago, but old five. There's a uh, magazine cutoff. Right now, the magazine cutoff um, isn't functioning. It says on. Um, to cut off the magazine, you flip it down to off, and you can just load one shot at a time, one cartridge at a time. And the middle allows you to pull the bolt from the receiver. So take a few shots with this, fighting the uh, wind again here. This is quite a bit louder. I do have hearing protection in for this. And like I said, I'm shooting, I should have really measured this out. It's between 75 and 85 yards, let's just call it 80. Uh, it's almost the width of the square acre here and um, let's do that one thing about this also before I start shooting here is there is no finger grooves here I don't know some of the Springfields uh, had the finger grooves here on the stock and um, some of the later ones didn't and I don't believe the ones they made during the Second World War, the, the A3s had those either. So it's kind of a, I don't want to say a transition period, but this was definitely made after the First World War and before the Second. So let's see what kind of group we can shoot here. Once again, trying to pile my brass. I can reload it. Quick day. Quick 
See, it was a little awkward to shoot at it. The seat kind of rotten out. Fakes. It's not like I'm getting skinnier as the days go by either. So, that's five shots. We'll take a quick look and see if we hit anything. Well, you know you're cheap when you uh, have three dollars worth of duct tape on a 99 cent target. So five shots, one, two, three, four, five. And not perfect. Uh, good enough, I guess, for my reloads. Certainly cover it with my hand and we'll go with that for now. Uh, I was aiming lower at the target here to hit that center mass area. Uh, according to the rear sight, you can set it for about a hundred yards, but I don't know. I think they're that low. I think it's still about a 200 yard, um, you know, uh, point that that's zeroed in on. Not for sure. Just a thought. Another hazy day here. You can almost smell the smoke, or perhaps I am smelling the smoke from the Canadian wildfires, but yeah, we'll go with that. So, make a lot shorter video today. I know it was kind of going on and on yesterday, and the world doesn't need more of that. So, anyway. Uh, that's about all for now that I can think of. The one interesting thing about the 03 was during the First World War, it was so close to a Mauser that the American government was actually paying the Ger Germans for uh, infringing on their patent as we were engaged in a war with them. So, at least that's what I've heard. I've always thought that was interesting. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks.